Hi, Brian here from Jengris Volvo North Haven. Today I want to talk to you about one of my favorite parts of a car, and that's tires. They have such an important role to play. I'm going to tell you all about them and everything you need to know to keep you safe, to keep you educated, and to make sure you get a good deal too. Now the first thing you'll notice when you step into your Volvo is this nice label that shows how to set your tire pressures. You'll see the front and the rear tire sizes along with what pressure to set them at. In this case, 35 PSI. I recommend using a digital gauge like this one, because this is one case where accuracy does matter. Now after you've done that on all four tires, swipe over, hit car status, then hit TPMS, and hit store pressures. Just click OK a couple times. That's gonna make sure that the tire pressure light comes on at the right time in the future. So why is tire pressure so important? Well, let me show you. You see, if you have a tire that's overinflated, it's gonna tend to ride in the center and bear most of its weight right here, which is gonna wear this out sooner. If you have a tire that's underinflated, it's gonna put all of its weight on the edges, and that's gonna wear out sooner. Either way, you won't be using the entire friction surface of the tire, which means you'll have that much less contact and that much less control. All these tires behind me are destined for the scrap pile for a variety of different reasons. But we can see on this one right here, it was definitely underinflated. It wore out right on the edge. Now, not only did they have to buy tires sooner than they expected, but also they wasted a bunch of money on gas because that tire that's underinflated is harder to roll. That's it on tire pressures for this week. Next week, we're going to talk about how to choose the right tire for you. Till then, drive safe.